Hi, I'm the Oaks, and that's Sir Walter. Let's go on an adventure. Hello and welcome to another episode here on the Hard Life of Walter the Dog YouTube channel. Today we are going to go on a hike. We are zooming in here on the area of Hobbs, New Mexico. And we are going to be just to the west of the city on the road towards Monument, New Mexico. This is a dirt road that we like to go to that leads to about three oil wells. There's a number of other oil wells in the region. Oops, there's Walter doing his business. I'll save you that. This is the moment where we're still letting Walter off leash a little bit. I have accelerated the speed here at about 500% and I will post next week a full length unedited normal speed. Here we have Walter. He just stepped into some pricklies. The bushes here, there's mesquite. There is a lot of those and there's fallen branches of those. And he sometimes steps into them, as do the other dogs. And they get pokies into their feet. There's also a grass plant that has sort of little um, grass, little growths on the edges that is very sorny and really hurts when they step on it. I had a few in my socks at times. It is not pleasant at all. So here we're coming up to the first oil well of this hike. The um, What we have is a pump, a couple of storage containers, and the one here in front of us is, I think, gas. There are a number of these throughout the region. We just walk around these. We're usually staying away from them as best as, as much as we can. We don't mess with them. Um, I recently encountered a guy having the concession to this oil field and he is perfectly happy with us being there. We even exchanged phone numbers that in case we discover like a leak, we can tell, tell him about that. Uh, more on that in another video or later today. So here we have Walter going off. This is in July, so we are very, very conscious of the heat that is already here in the early morning hours. Pretty atrocious, so we're not going to do too long a hike and we are going to keep this very limited and give them water on good number of occasions. There's a lot of cactus. We had no issues yet so far with cactus and them stepping into cactus. And I'll let this roll for a few minutes now and then I'll be back as soon as something interesting pops up. So here we are approaching the second well um, for, we have been hiking in this area for about two years. And this one has oftentimes been shut off actually. You can, as we get closer, see that one of the fences on the edge of this oil well is torn. But what is really interesting here is you see this discoloration on the ground. All of that is oil spills actually where the pipe burst and they fixed it in that they put a plug on it, but they failed to remove all the contaminated ground. And some of this probably even went down to the groundwater, unfortunately. It is a very sad situation here in the region in New Mexico that we unfortunately have so much of this oil and there is a lot of leaks on. I don't, I'm not having a full video here of all the kind of leaks that are existing in the region, 
but you can see them all over the place and there's no cleanup operations as far as we can tell that takes place unfortunately um, so here we're on the road to the third well um, this is the third well in a row of three from there it goes out into a bit more country there's actually a cow pond a little further down and a refinery a little further in the other direction in this one here i'll show you that in another video we actually had an incident where we recently discovered a leak too all right so here my kid wanted to play a little bit of leash time and take walter on and we are making our ways now back to the car because it is getting warm we're getting into the 80s temperature wise and it's just not bearable for the dogs anymore so we're making our way back and this way is actually a dirt road that leads to an abandoned oil well We're gonna go a little bit down this um, dirt road but then we're gonna cut across country um, to the car um, to kind of cut down the time that we are out as again resulting the heat this is a cow pass that we like to use on that stretch back in the fall and early spring there's a lot of cows out here sometimes like last winter they were about 200 i would estimate and it is a um, bit complicated then when we hike with them and the cows have issues with us being there our dogs want to play with them so we oftentimes make big circles around the cows avoid every area they're in but unfortunately that is not always possible uh, we had a couple of little run-ins with the cows as a result that's an old fence <laughs> the fence technically i guess is supposed to be a property boundary between like two parcels of public land and all of this is on public land the um cows however have gotten quite creative in making holes into this fence line and it's not um, not very good anymore there are still some fences around between other properties and concessions out here where they are okay but in this section there's just they're totally torn down now we're almost back at the car so thank you for watching this episode of the hard life of walter the dog hiking with walter and i hope you enjoyed this and we look forward to seeing you next week for another episode